Pursued by numerous warriors eager to claim the coveted prize of her head, Medusa's story unfolds as many attempted the feat, only to face failure and be turned to stone by a single glance at her grotesque visage. Medusa, however, was not always perceived as a monster. Quite the contrary, she was the sole mortal among three sisters born to Phokis and Ceto, two of the primordial sea gods, blessed with exquisite beauty. Many men coveted Medusa, yet out of reverence for the goddess Athena, she remained chaste, eventually ascending to become the priestess of Athena's temple. Thousands flocked to Athena's sanctuary, merely to behold Medusa's splendor, some even asserting that her locks rivaled Athena's own. Athena's envy of Medusa eventually turned to resentment. One fateful day, while strolling along the shore, Medusa caught the eye of Poseidon, god of the sea, who became instantly enamored. Despite multiple advances, Medusa rebuffed Poseidon, aware that maintaining her virginity was imperative to her role as priestess. Amidst a feud with Athena, Poseidon perceived Medusa as a possession to claim from the goddess. Growing weary of rejection, Poseidon resolved to take Medusa by force, fleeing for her life. Medusa sought refuge in Athena's temple, hoping for divine protection. No protection was afforded that night, and Poseidon seized Medusa, enraged by the violation. Athena appeared and, unable to punish a god, cursed Medusa, transforming her once, envied locks into venomous serpents. Anyone meeting her gaze would be petrified, turning to stone, branded a monster. Medusa became the prey of warriors seeking her head as a trophy. All who dared shared the same fate. Petrification, until the hero Perseus son of Zeus was tasked with retrieving her head. To accomplish this, Perseus was granted divine aid, a helmet of invisibility from Hades, winged sandals from Hermes, a bronze shield from Athena, and a sword sharp enough to sever Medusa's head. Empowered by these gifts, Perseus succeeded in beheading Medusa. In death, she bore the offspring of Poseidon. From her severed neck sprang the winged steed Pegasus. Her head aided Perseus in numerous quests, including his confrontation with the Titan Atlas. Medusa, often misconstrued as a malevolent figure, had noble intentions and placed her trust in Athena, who ultimately betrayed her, punishing her for circumstances beyond her control. Her tale illustrates the fallibility of gods, even in matters they deem sacred. Even in death, Medusa serves as a symbol of protection her severed head utilized as an amulet against malevolence.